it might seem like you're the black sheep pointing out that there might be a wolf in your midst. Am I one sandwich short of a picnic? Am I crazy? Am I imagining things? I might look like a giant eyeball, but I feel like a black sheep when I realize someone is a narcissist or has some other personality disorder and nobody else realizes it. Feels kind of lonely. <laughs> later, much later, several other people might recognize that one sheep among you, in your team, in your family, in your class, was a wolf in sheep's clothing. We sheep are sometimes being sheepish, especially around narcissists who are simmering with rage just under the surface. Scary stuff. Blast. I'm already a black sheep as a third culture adult, the de facto black sheep. I feel sheepish because sometimes I don't understand some cultural reference and that's okay when I'm in a foreign country. But when it comes, um, when it happens in my birth country, that's supposed to be all familiar to me and it's not, well, then I feel sheepish. What does the optimist in me say? I always believe hoping against hope, against all contrary evidence that this was just a one-off incident, maybe a misunderstanding, not a case of manipulation. However, as an incurable believer in the goodness of the human nature, it has not served me well when confronted with a narcissist. Ultimately, after several incidents and severe distortions of the truth by two of my work colleagues, I had to admit they are covert narcissists. Being sandwiched between two covert narcissists was uncomfortable, to say the least. I do not want to be the cheese in that sandwich. I almost melted from the heat of the distortions and manipulations. Besides, cheese sandwiches are not the most balanced diet and neither are narcissists. Hmm. Seems like cheese is all over in my videos. The Swiss cheese risk management model, cheese sandwiches. As an aside, I do like cheese, artifact of being a student in France for five years. You know, when the scientist was going through his checklist in the previous video, it made me think, I put on faces as well, tempering or exaggerating my reactions a bit, depending on the audience and the context of the situation. Finally, I second guess myself and my reactions in my birth country a lot more than anywhere else where I'm supposed to understand subtle cues inherently. Supposed to understand being the operative phrase, it seems. I'm just like you, dear optimist. I don't always get it. Maybe this is what this co-worker is going through. Being a bit inept at social cues manipulating unconsciously without being aware nah the discrepancies of behavior are too big too many gaps with a clearly delineated deliberate victim agenda i went through a big loss three years ago and even though i recovered i still feel fragile oftentimes if i'm already hurt a predator recognizes that and gets right into the crack. I am perfect prey material. But then so are you, because we all have cracks, vulnerabilities. In fact, we trust people with our vulnerabilities and beautiful relationships are built from that exchange. Sincerity and integrity are the foundation of any relationship. And narcissists have neither of these two. We assume most people have sincerity and integrity. So we bring people into our space and that makes us vulnerable to their opinions and influence. Don't bring people into your space. Yet as teammates and especially as leaders, we are vulnerable and honest. And that's how we build high performing teams and honest relationships. However, do not bring a narcissist into your space, no matter how little you tell them. It's TMI, too much information. Let's drop the savior syndrome, dear artist. 
you cannot save a victim who doesn't want to be saved. The best is to channel yours truly, your inner observer, when dealing with covert narcissists. It will then become obvious a lot sooner these are people with a personality disorder who are always playing victim while manipulating everyone around them. I mean, in all fairness, it sometimes takes months for a trained psychotherapist to recognize their patient as being a covert narcissist. So do we have any hope of recognizing sooner? Probably not. If you realize you're dealing with a narcissist, rely on your gut instinct. Your aversion is valid. Protect yourself quietly. Being direct or honest with a narcissist at work is a waste of time. It will turn into a daily battlefield of psychological warfare.